Hey, it is Chad, the fitness scientist here at the Acceleration Station, and it is a Friday fitness workout, and I'm gonna take you through one of the B Ultra Fit uh, WAF HIT workouts. It's awesome. You need two things. You need a medium WAF, and you're gonna need a body blade. Okay, so body blades are awesome. You generate the motion. You gotta keep it up. It's a fast switch muscle fiber simulator for forward and backward motion or up and downward motion, depending on what we're doing. We're gonna work on our medium WAF today, uh, which we're gonna be using for a lot of weight distribution and also so we can do a cardiovascular speed drill. So we're gonna be doing, working with a three minute warm up, <clears throat> approximately. Uh, I'm gonna be, I don't have a timer in front of me because I'm recording, but we're gonna be working approximately with a three minute warm up. Then we're gonna be doing a 30 second speed sprint and then a one and a half minute sequence with our body blades. And we're gonna do that eight sequences. Uh, the first round of each one, we're gonna focus on the body blade. And then the second time around, we're gonna focus on the body blade and the waft movement combined. Okay, so that's gonna be the setup of our workout. Medium waft, again, remembering that weight distribution is a big part of it. Body blade is all about fast twitch muscle fiber. So using, for example, I'm using my bicep and my tricep my forearm, my deltoid, and my shoulder, my rotator cuff muscles to make sure that I maintain the movement of the blade itself. Okay, that's gonna be our goal. I'm gonna get myself set up. We're gonna start with a little bit of a quadruped work warm up. I'm gonna face profile for that part because you'll be able to understand the quadruped a little bit better. And then we'll go into our standing uh, work for the drill. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with my body blade on the floor nearby. Okay, starting in a quadruped hands and knee position. First thing we're gonna do for the first part is just take the walk in a circular pattern. So we get all four points of contact, elbows, sorry, not elbows, wrists, right and left, knee, left and right, wrist, right and left, left and right. I'm gonna go one more time, and I'm putting weight into them. I'm not, I'm not trying to stay um, off the joint. I wanna be on the joint because I'm warming up my shoulder joints, warming up my hip joints, warming up my shoulder joints hip joints. I keep my back flat in the middle, which is going to require that I use my center column. A lot of my the rotation uh, is going to stimulate the obliques. All right, so I get three on each side and I bring my knees together. I'm going to put my left foot on the floor. I'm activating the walk with my right knee and my left hand. I take my opposite hand off. Once I'm stable, I float the back foot off and then I bring it up approximately level to my arm if that's a possibility but I have to keep active on the walk down here with my left and my right. I bring the foot down, the hand down, I switch sides. I activate the walk, push the hand, push to the knee, opposite arm off, opposite leg off. Hand down, knee down, we do that two times around. I just did a uh, X3 bar workout, so it's a different kind of fatigue, but I am feeling it already. Uh, just in terms of that, for example, <laughs> the squats have my legs already tired. Switching, activate the walk, left knee, right hand, left hand off, right foot off. All right, bring it down. Now we're gonna go to quadruped to bring ourselves up. I'm gonna turn to the front now so you can see what's up. I'm gonna rotate over to the right side, put my weight on it, bring my left foot up. That liberates me. If you've done my other medium videos, you understand how this process works. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and collect my body blade because for the rest, I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna push into my left foot and then I'm gonna step onto my right foot. So now I'm side by side. I think I'm fully in frame. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my body blade in front of me long ways, hinge my hips back, because whenever I go into a squat, I always start here. I'm now in a squat, meaning my hips go in. Now I'm pushing through my heels. I'm gonna start very slowly. See this motion here? So now I'm pushing side to side to side to side to side, like I'm squashing the walk with my heels. But then I'm gonna get that going as quickly as I can to start elevating my heart rate. I get 30 seconds to do this drill. I don't have a timer, so I'm gonna sort of approximate 30 seconds. This is to drive my heart rate up. I'm gonna come up now. For the first round of the blade, I'm just gonna worry about the blade. The flat part of the blade is facing you or facing forward. 
My arms are long, but not locked. They're the height of my sternum. I'm doing a forward and backward motion. I'll turn profile so you can see what I'm doing here motion-wise. So I'm out long. The blade is forward and backward. I haven't added loft movement yet. I'm just allowing my upper body to do its work for 30 seconds of deltoid motion. I'm going to switch my grip, palms face me. Bending my elbows, I'm going to do a bicep curl. Same forward and backward plane for the body blade. Elbows are bent. And I'm moving the blade forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. I get 30 seconds to rock this out. Now you want to keep your shoulders loose and your grip loose. If you get too tight, you're not going to be able to maintain the tempo. So every once in a while, just check in and make sure your shoulders feel a little loose. Next motion is going to be for the triceps. I take the blade around behind me. The blade is facing down. The flat side is facing down. My thumbs are on one side, my hands are on the other, and the blade goes up and down. I'm going to turn and face you. You can see this a little bit better this way. So it looks kind of like I have wings going up and down. Triceps and rear deltoids. Another 30 second motion. All right, so the purpose of this sequence is to work on a fast switch in the upper body, fast switch in the lower body, just changing the intensity. So we're gonna up the intensity now, bring the body blade back to the front, bring it up and down, then side faces you. You just hinge your hips backward, starting your heels, 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 and then moving into your drill. Now for my drill, I'm really, 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 really focusing on my butt. I'm not trying to use my knees. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing through my butt. I'm pulling back. I'm driving it down, down, down. I'm trying to squash the walk with my feet. Heels, specifically. That's coming up. All right, that's why I want to call it 30 seconds. We're going to do the same three motions, but this time we're going to add lower body side to side motion. So back to our deltoid motion. I move my body blade up and down, forward, sorry, forward and backward, not up and down. Thirty seconds. Flip it back to bicep curl. Keep your run going. Steps. Keep your run going. I'm having a hard time. I'm trying to follow the timer on the camera, but I can't do it. That's fine. It's too small. All right, we're gonna call that 30 seconds, bringing our body blade back to the front. We're gonna hinge back, bend my knees, starting my feet, heels. Going up and down, up and down, up and down, dragging through my butt, through my butt, through my butt, which is dragging my heels down, 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 30 seconds. All right, now I'm moving. Weight back with my right foot. Weight forward with my left foot. The foot that's to the back gets your body blade. Level. Down and up with your right arm only. I'm trying to keep my waft level. Checking to make sure my shoulder stays soft, it's responsive, I'm not locking it in place. 
After 30 seconds, I'm going to bring my body weight to the front. I'm going to take my body weight to my front leg. Body blade is forward. Weight is forward. On the front leg, my front knee is soft. You can see I'm able to move this foot around. I'm not fully balancing yet. That's a progression. First, just get used to having your weight here. Your left hip, in this case, in my case, I'm on my left leg, is going to start getting really tired because it's holding most of my body weight, but I'm not even dealing with balance yet. I'm just dealing with weight distribution. Now, I'm going to transition back to the back foot. Bring my body blade overhead. So my weight's in my back foot. This one's kind of loose and free, but I'm not trying to balance yet. More than just having redistributed my body weight to the back leg. I get 30 seconds in all three planes. Down, front, overhead. Now, when it's time to switch, if you're comfortable doing it without using the body blade as an assistance, you're gonna take your slide your left foot to the left, weight on it, weight up to the right, you know how to quadruped already. Hinge yourself back, come to a squat, starting in your hips, heels, and your goal is to go for 30 seconds in this quick drill. Trying to go as quickly as possible from right to left. Woo. Keeping it all in the back. Okay, transition. Left foot goes backwards. Right foot comes forward, in my instance. My left foot's in the back, it's my left hand. First motion, I'm not worried about weight distribution on the waft. Trying to keep it level. My body like there is just kind of adjusting itself to find level. That wasn't a deliberate movement, that was a responsive movement. I get 30 seconds in the down position. Now I'm gonna move my body blade to the front here. Weight's gonna go on it. My, my weight is forward. I have very little weight on this back leg, though I'm not off the walk yet. I'm not trying to balance, not yet. Coming up. And now I'm gonna transition my weight back to my back leg, overhead. Very little weight on this leg. Time to transition, bring your arm down, transition your weight to the side of the center column, weight to the right, quadruped style, weight on the left, your level, bring your blade into place, hinge back, get your squat position, start in your hips, start your drill. motion here just for kicks. I'm just kidding. That's the advanced version. Okay, so hips back, drill down, and come up. Okay, so there you go. That was four sequences. So you had drill, blade, just blade, drill, blade, weight distribution, split lunge right, split lunge left, three arm planes. Repeat that twice and you have your eight, your, uh, eight segments to hit your peak, okay? There are variations on a theme there. We'll keep progressing it. But that'll get you started. Obviously I'm winded, suck at workout. Wouldn't matter, I'd still be winded at this point anyway. Anyway, there's your Friday fitness workout for this Friday, February 8th, 2019. Come back again, join me for some more Be Ultra Fit programming. Bye for now.